Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Parish Brewing Company's Coffee Stout. Coffee Stout is brewed with Reeve Coffee Roasters Coffee, apparently. Yeah. It says, this silky smooth coffee stout is created with a carefully selected blend of specialty grade estate beans from Colombia and Java. Our friends and coffee gods at Rave, Rave, Reeve, it has a little thing on it, mm. uh, have finished them to a city slash full city roast to highlight the true character of the beans and their origin prior to addition to our stout. Any time of day, this ale will drink like a delicious cold brewed coffee. Mm. Oh, we do like cold brewed coffee a little bit. So, ooh. ooh. That's a deep dark black color right there. Looks sweet. Definitely smells like straight coffee bean. Yeah. Definitely lots of coffee notes. Mm -hmm. Lots of chocolate in there too. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say anything about chocolate, but I definitely smell that. It's just a byproduct of the roast probably. Mm -hmm. Brewed and bottled in uh, by Parrish in, Br how do you say that? Broussard, Louisiana? I believe so, yes. Broussard. Mm -hmm. Louisiana. I'm getting just, yeah, coffee and chocolate and, and roasty malt. That's, that's about all I'm getting. Yeah, I'm just getting that pure, coffee espresso smell. It's good, it smells yeah. good. Should we dive in? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Oh my gosh, they weren't kidding when it, when they say it, it yeah. tastes like a cold brew coffee. That's crazy. And it, yeah, it is silky smooth. Like this thing is super smooth. It tastes just like a coffee, like a cold brew coffee. My God. And I'm getting a lot of that Colombian bean flavor in there too. That fruity, it's like a mild coffee bean. Slightly Slightly fruity. fruity. Yeah. I agree. Low acidity levels. Oh my God, that's good. What's the alcohol on this? This has got to be kind of low, right? I mean, it doesn't say. No. Mm. It's got to be like 5% or 6% at most. I would imagine it's, yeah, under six and a half. But you never know, I mean, because these beers can hide alcohol really well. Yeah. I've had like, you know, 10% coffee stouts that are just like, you don't even know what the hell they are. And you're just like, wow. And it's not as sweet. I was expecting it to be like sweeter, like one of those sweet coffee stouts, but it's not. Not at all. It's like well balanced. It's like you're drinking cold brew coffee, but wait a minute, there's something extra special about it. Product <laughs> of, a, what? A K. Acadiana? Acadiana? What the hell is that? I don't know. Let's check. 7.2. Oh. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. See? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They spelled Columbia wrong. They spelled Columbia wrong? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. She's from Columbia. She knows. They spelled it right on the label. Oh, it's on the website. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, comes in kegs. Comes in six barrel. 12 ounce bottles, that's it. This one though has a red cap and ours had a black cap, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Too bad they're in Louisiana. Yeah. These are not easy to get. Mm -mm. Not around here. But we got this through Tavor, which is like a beer, what would you call it? Like a beer subscription sort yeah. of like service or whatever? It's not really a subscription because you don't get it. It's not a monthly thing. You just choose whenever new beers become available, you just choose what you want. You don't have to order anything. We got like a whole ton of stuff through them that we can't normally get, you know, through local means or from beer trades even most of the time. So Parrish is one of those breweries that we saw there. Um, and I mean, I guess they just get also what they get. You can't really determine what they're gonna have in stock at any given time, but yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's always gonna be stuff that you can't normally acquire through normal means. So definitely recommend those guys. We'll leave a link down below. 
but we've got a bunch of stuff coming up for review that's outside of our wheelhouse um, and area, including, uh, I think we have, do we have another Parish one? Yeah, we have another Parish IPA. Sweet, so stay tuned for that as well. If you see this one in the store, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. All right guys, so that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon. We are one subscriber away from 200 subscribers and then we'll be doing a cool Hardywood giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.